Vladimir. All they really need are tools to be able to close the gap, and Civit's ultimate does a fantastic job of enabling that. There's a lot of single target damage coming out from the Syndra, and because you have the pick power of the Thresh. All right, so a little unfortunate there for Hillasang. The idea was promising, but the execution didn't quite come through. XL with a slight gold advantage right now, largely coming from the mid lane differential. And you can also see Nemesis prioritizing yeah, getting... Civit's just trading this for plates in the bot lane. It looks like XL, they're not going to risk contesting this, which I think is the smart play. Even though they can get priority in mid lane, they don't have prior top. The bot lane from Fnatic has rotated up. And great utilization of the Gangplank ultimate. Thank you, Observers, for highlighting that as well. Because it slows down the push from the Sivir. A number of XL members rotating down towards the bot side. Of course, the Ocean Drake is up. This is going to be the big point of contention. And Nemesis doesn't have TP. He doesn't have TP. The Rift is going to come down, but XL, they want this fight. They're looking to fight when their Syndra is strongest. And Rippo eaten up by Hillasang. First kill is going to go across as Thresh goes down. Cries, though, with the Hemoplank. Patrick trying to get the damage down, but he can't quite get it. Rippo falls, so has Torre. Riftel did get a charge in, managed to take down three plates, but Ward, meanwhile, Exit are playing down towards this bottom side. Torre with the hook, has the lantern. Kadra's gonna come across the wall here as well. Hitler saying no flash, no exhaust, no real way out of this one. He's gonna pop the thick skin underneath the turret, but it's just one more auto attack that's needed. Kadrill lands the axe in the back of the catfish, and that's a healthy new... gold lead at the moment, but that might change. Is it special? I think he's gonna die. Does have the unleashed power, but doesn't have a life. Nope. And you know how much gold he was sitting on when he dies? We'll have, like, stronger team fighting later on into the game. Um, so we'll have to wait and see as Fnatic is grouping up. Kadra was here, trying to get Hillasang. He will pop that thick skin. Ragnarok was used as well, though. We're both forced off towards the top side of this fight. Special looking for some damage over the wall. We'll hit self-made just a little bit and the thing about this is it's not sorry from Whippo and from self-made to put the rift hell down here in the mid lane trying to open up the map a little bit more special and Kadrill are behind enemy lines in the jungle near this red the teleport coming in hit flashes forward he's looking for that acquired taste he's gonna let up that special knock him back straight into the shockwave and goodbye Syndra that is a great fight great pick there for Fnatic Kadrill's gonna get the lantern out and this should be Fnatic's Dragon. What could have been a great opportunity for XL actually ends up in disaster as Hillasang recognizes it with the flash gone from special, they can get a punish. Now, self made looking for Patrick. Doesn't have the Gragas ultimate though. Ooh, reckless. reckless. Yeah. Yeah, you forces flash the flash out. out from Patrick. He was worried about the lethality. Getting very low. The Baron is becoming a point of contention. I imagine the next big fight will be around this Drake, or it could be in the bot lane. Yeah, Christ is going to get body slammed. He has no vision around here. Pops the Sanguine Pool, but where are you going to go? You're flashing the wall. He's trying to get out with a phase rush. He turns it back around. The Hemo Plague has been popped as well. And Christ, he's ticking away, but he heals up. I don't I don't know how you get out of this one. I'm yeah, pretty sure I you just get chased lives. down. I okay, think there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Angry monkey cries as he goes down <laughs> in the end. Did waste some time. And, uh, Especially, I think having his ultimate on available more often is extremely valuable. If you get it to 40%. Yeah, precisely. Like oh, and he's got the... Uh, Executioners. Yep, that's the one. Which that's a lot of damage. Here. Patrick, though, he's going to take some damage in response. Oh, that's, that's actually really nicely done. Lantern, flash away into Patrick getting to safety. Oh. Patrick doesn't have to burn his flash, which is so important for a later team fight. I'll give him some credit there. That was well escaped by Patrick and by Torway, but they are going to have to sacrifice at least one turret in mid. Probably a couple as Fnatic are going to try and up the tempo of this game. We've gone from Adagio to Rapido. Can't remember my musical tempos that well, but I hope those were right. Starting off this Baron, they forced it. The Nemesis is in oh, the brush such above a good position. them. They don't know he's there. Look at it, he's already got the ball onto Patrick, and now oh, the shot going on. Patrick flashes away from it, and they're going to try and turn onto Nemesis, but the fight plan comes in from Reckless in the pit is self made. Patrick, there's no way you survive this. Reckless, Reckless takes him out. Now it's Cries and Torre versus the world, but Torre is down. A triple for Reckless, the Baron for Fnatic, and Excel have made one of their classic mid game blunders. I think that was just a very easy punish for Fnatic. The waves were not set up. I feel to like allow. Fnatic did a great job of utilizing Bupo on a sideline. He was that strong point, getting those core optimizations. And now they're looking for Patrick. He gets one shot by self made. The self made dances on his body. Fnatic now looking to end the game. So I believe the Cannon Barrage will proc the spell shield.
Yeah. So if you pop it and then he pops Spell Shield, it's like, oh no, okay, sorry, that's going to be popped before I come in with a Body Slam. So that's really good coordination from Fnatic, and now they are coordinating a push down the middle lane. XL, well, you held on for a long time, but it feels like death knells for you right now. Hook's going to land, but the Shockwave comes down. Torre goes out of here. And a double kill, a triple kill for Reckless. Give him the quadro. Cry is going to flash away and try and stop it from happening. But this is why you don't give Barris to Reckless. He is 6 0 3, dominating this game. And Fnatic will top the table undefeated with Rogue. Overall, very solid game from Fnatic. It felt like that. Excel, they had a couple of tools that they could have been using in the early game with the likes of the Thresh. They had a Cinder.